Two, three, please. Four minutes. Oh, and we have an official timer. Mayor, where's our official timer? She left already. Uh, explain who you are, what your department does, and more importantly, what do you do? What do you do day in and day out to make life better for Sherman Oaks and Los Angeles residents? So with that, I'd like to start at the far end. And why don't you come on up here? Uh, we want it on tape. Video tape, that is. Not very good at public speaking. I'm Sergeant Harker from Parking Enforcement for the Valley area. Uh, I cover the entire area. We provide uh, parking enforcement services, parking tickets, traffic control, vehicle, uh, abandoned vehicle abatement. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Uh, as I was coming into the parking lot, I saw one of the things that uh, aggravate most of you citizens the most lately. That's our uh, local advertising trailers. We all know they're all over the valley. Uh, we are working on that. Uh, council is working on that as well. Currently, with those uh, advertising trailers, we don't have a solution for you other than posting signs for no unhitched trailers. They are working to get some legislation pushed through to see if we can have stricter enforcement on those. Uh, as you know, the San Fernando Valley is huge, and the amount of vehicles that we do have in the San Fernando Valley, it takes a lot of effort to keep track of all the abandoned ones. We see them on the street, the ones covered in dirt. You'll see our little chalk marks, but it does take time. You can only park a car on the street for 72 hours. After that 72 hours, it's considered an abandoned vehicle. It does take time. We do have a 1-800-ABANDON number for you to call. If you notice one of those vehicles, please feel free to take down the license number the vehicle description and the address location where it's at, and we will do our best to get to the vehicles. You do have to have a little bit of patience because it's on a first come, first serve basis, and there is a huge volume that we can handle. Uh, each one of the officers that comes out of the field every day, they are tasked with those tasks. Parking enforcement, traffic control, they respond to accidents, broken water mains, what have you and then vehicle, uh, abandoned vehicle abatement. So that's pretty much in a nutshell what we do. If uh, you have any questions, feel free. I'll circulate amongst you and just come up and ask me your questions. Thank you. In the, the process tonight, we're gonna to have the brief presenta presentations and overview. Then uh, Wayne has collected the uh, questions and we're gonna be asking specific questions of all our speakers. That's phase two, and phase three is uh, the your opportunity to meet one-on-one -on -one with these people. If you have a specific problem, please give them the information in writing. It'll make it much easier with your name, address, telephone number. Good evening. My name is Frank Bush. I'm the assistant chief of the Code Enforcement Bureau for the Los Angeles Department of Building and Safety. Department of Building and Safety, uh, we issue permits, uh, do plan check and issue permits, and do inspections of construction of all the buildings in the city of Los Angeles. In our Code Enforcement uh, Bureau, we uh, deal with the, the uh, codes that uh, enforce uh, maintenance of properties. Uh, we deal with complaints like trash and debris on properties, vacant buildings, uh, business, illegal businesses running out of residences, garage conversions, uh, noise and light complaints uh, from fixed equipment or lights that, that bother your uh, are coming from the parking lot next door onto your house or from the house next door onto your house. And also I want to introduce tonight with me is Eric Jakeman if he'd stand. He's a senior inspector that is uh, the supervisor for the inspectors that work in the area here. So he'll be here also uh, you know, as we take on the questions. So it's a pleasure to be here again and uh, thank you for dinner. Good evening, good evening, excuse me, it's Good evening, everybody. I'm Ron Lorenzo, the Assistant Chief Forester. Most of you I've seen here before. I've been coming here for many years, and I want to thank you for dinner as well, especially Jules. I've known Jules a long time, and it's been a pleasure working with Sohana, Maiden Ventura Boulevard. I want to say this before I say what we do. <clears throat> for those of you who have lived here for some time, you have seen a transformation that is truly unbelievable. Not just here, of course, in Sherman Oaks, but along much of the studio city, Sherman Oaks, and it's, you know, boundaries. And it's just pretty amazing for someone that grew up in the 50s here to see what's happened out here. So I think Jules probably deserves more credit than anybody, particularly more than those of us in the city. So thank you, Jules. 
Anyhow, <laughs> the Urban Forestry Division oversees and manages the street tree population of the city of Los Angeles. I would like to tell you that all of our practices and everything are going as we would have them go. That is not true. I'm sure all of you know. We're doing the best we can with very limited amounts of resources right now. We also oversee the protected trees in the state of Los Angeles. If you don't know what those are, those are the oaks, black walnuts, California sycamores, and bay laurels, and there's quite a few of those in the Sherman Oaks area. We also do many things people don't think of. We issue permits for removals. We issue permits for pruning. And I know that's being abused in several places along Ventura Boulevard. There may be questions regarding that. And I've actually been working with Matt on a couple of locations recently. We also do a tremendous amount of work with the planning department in developing new ways to address the public right-of-way and also on development conditions for the requirements for the developers when they have to plant trees and do other improvements in the public right-of-way. So in a very quick little overview, that's pretty much what we do, and I'll be happy to answer questions as we go along. Good evening, everyone. My name is Ron Olive. I'm an assistant director with the Bureau of Street Services, part of Public Works. And um, thank you, Jules, also, for inviting me back. My pleasure to be back. Um, I will leave the trees to Ron Lorenzen, but everything else that the Bureau of Street Services does, um, I do have a hand and at least a couple fingers in. So I did bring some sheets. Our 40 most popular services that we do provide and how to get a hold of us and, and put in some requests, but basically, Everything to do with streets, trees, sidewalks, code enforcement in the public right-of-way, unlike building safety and private property. Uh, weed abatement in the public right-of-way, and again, going back to streets, resurfacing, pothole repairs, street cleaning, street sweeping, uh, trash receptacles that are in the public right-of-way, servicing those. Uh, sidewalk repair, in the past we have had uh, both a general funded and a 50-50 sidewalk repair program. This year, unfortunately, we are, we are not funded for either, and the, the future looks kind of bleak, but we we do uh, respond and do interim repairs normally in asphalt. So again, sidewalk repairs, curb gutter, we could still uh, take care of those, at least make them safe for it. And um, again, any other questions you have related to uh, streets, trees, trees, sorry, sidewalks, code enforcement, weed abatement, guardrail repair, um, just a number of different services we provide in the public right away. And thank you again. Good evening, Tom Glick with the City Planning Department. Hey, I, thank you, Mayor yeah. Lipstein. Um, I just wanted to let you know that I, I always start this way when I'm in Sherman Oaks. I am a 25 year resident of Sherman Oaks. So I live over at Burbank and Hazeltine. Uh, planning department. I think you all know the planning department specifically when there's a major project that is controversial. That's usually when the planning department um, is in the forefront of what people uh, people know us about. But we are responsible for the general plan. Uh, several several functions the planning department does is the responsibility of the general plan and the, and the, the 35 community plans. Uh, we also have specific plans that we have developed over the years, one of which in Sherman Oaks is the Ventura Boulevard specific plan. I'm sure most of you are familiar with the Ventura Boulevard specific plan, as well as the Mulholland Scenic Parkway specific plan up on Mulholland. Uh, we also have the department that is responsible for processing the various entitlement requests that applicants will request of the city, including variances, zone changes, plan amendments, site plan review, things of that nature. So. I'm here to answer any questions. I know there are a lot of individual projects that people are concerned about in the Sherman Oaks area, um, and I'm happy to give any information that I can about their status, um, and I'm here for that. So, thank you. Yeah, no. Fill out a green card and I'll, I'll put it up there. The green sheet. Okay. 